How are you doing today, folks? The 940 is a knife I have a lot of experience with. I've used and abused this first production run, as well as a few different sprint runs, for a long time. And I actually really like this knife. Now, with all that being said, I've heard a lot of things about Benchmade's QC getting even worse, about the new 940 drops being garbage and everything else. I went and got the Blade HQ M4 variant, the newest model on the secondary market, to really give it a shot. It's brand new in box. But let's see if it actually is, you know, better, worse, whatever the case may be. This old 154 CM Osborne has served me fantastic and it's lasted a long, long time and still performs perfectly fine. Has the QC really dropped that much? Are they now just bad knives? I don't want to be one of those guys on the internet just saying stuff. I actually want to do some research and find out. So together, you know, let's find out. Is it still any good? So, immediate first impressions are it's much lighter than my aluminum version. The action is a little bit more stiff, but it still does come out just fine. Does whip back in just fine. Also, everyone says nobody uses sprint runs, so let's get this over with right now. It's now used. It can now be tested. Also, after that, the tip is still just fine. One thing I am kind of impressed with, though, is this access lock took a long time to break in. And this one is almost as smooth as this one, which I've literally had for, my God, man, 17, 16, 17 years. So the better part of two decades, five minutes, it's already almost as smooth. So far, so good. The old school 940 is obviously made out of aluminum. Because of that, it's a little bit heavier, feels a little more substantial in hand. The newest update is obviously lighter, feels just about the same in hand. And again, day one, pretty much butter. Honestly, I really wasn't sure if I'd actually like this knife, but so far, I do. It's a nice update of the actual original 940. The G10 gives it a much softer in-hand feel. The ergonomics are, again, not quite as substantial, but they're also a bit smoother, so it's a very welcome trade-off. And honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to this. So, the forward is done. Now let's get on with the actual video. First things first, aesthetics are very much personal preference, but my personal preference is I actually think this knife is beautiful. I've already bought titanium scales, they're already on their way, but if I could cancel them, I probably would because this is actually gorgeous just the way it is. Pictures really do not do it justice at all. Hopefully it looks better on video to you guys because this combination is really and truly fantastic. I wish the clip was DLC the way the blade is. The whole Parker eyes thing irritates me. The Jade G10 is very translucent. Gives it almost like an HR Geiger-esque appearance to it. The natural lines of the 940 really do shine in this variant. As well as the DLC coded access lock, hardware, blade, Parkerized uh, clip. Honestly, it all equals out to a really and truly, in my opinion, beautiful knife. The action is very flickable, spidey flickable, slow roll, or straight up knife seizure. But either way, the action is actually something of true and genuine beauty. I actually love the 940, as you guys know. It's one of those smaller knives that somehow manages to speak to me. And I'm kind of thinking all the BS online about how these knives have dropped in quality tremendously is kind of just that BS, because so far, this thing is fantastic. Also, I love the natural resistance while slow opening an access lock. It feels very hydraulic, glassy, but with a little bit of resistance to it. It's not the best way to open up an access lock knife, but if you do do that, man, it feels fantastic. One thing I will say though, is my old 940 likes to be flicked. And you flick it using your actual thumbnail and it rockets out on time every time. This one, if you use your thumbnail, it does that. But if you use your actual meat of your thumb, no problem. I'm not really sure why that's different, but it's definitely different. It's sort of a strange thing to think about, but honestly, it feels pretty damn good as well, so I don't mind. As far as edge geometry, I've always loved the 940. It's always been a great cutter. 
Now, Benchmade definitely does have QC problems in regards to their sharpening. That is one thing I've definitely had over the years. I've had some wonky ass grinds. I've had some knives come straight up dull, but this one is definitely not dull. Whew, I love it. Clean, smooth line. Also, while recording this, somebody asked me a question about the durability of the 940. I'm gonna answer that here. Fantastic knife, very, very durable as far as the old school one. And the new one, I don't know. Still holds up pretty nice. I'd say we're good. The 940 is durable, beautiful, functional, and is overall one of my absolute favorite working knives. Fantastic. Now, ergonomically, the 940 has been and will continue to be a very strange knife. This thing should fit my size of hands. It just honestly shouldn't. It. Mind you, I have my pinky sticking off right here because it's all very nicely contoured. You can't really feel it. It's not really a problem at all. There is no major hot spot. You can feel the side of the clip right here, but again, it's not bad. The old school one with the back spacer feels better in hand because the added weight as well as this piece right here just feels better on your hand. The barrel spacer is because of this open back. You can kind of feel it. It's not bad at all, but you can definitely feel this. All 940s carry great in pocket. It's a very slim knife. Again, the 940 is a knife that should not will work, but it just kind of does. Everybody I know who's ever handled 940 has liked it. Not everybody loves them, but they all like them and they all understand why this knife is a classic and why it just, for the most part, simply works. The 940 was originally designed as an EDC knife, something to use, abuse, and carry with you at all times. When it first came out, it was a genuine innovation. But over time and throughout the years, many knives have come and gone. Many things have competed with the 940. We have new knives every year in the custom space, updates from long-standing legends, competition within and outside the family, and fantastic pieces that serve the same model, but do it for far, far less. But even still, innovation is only a foundation, and it is nothing without constant reinventions and updates. And for better or for worse, Benchmade has continuously updated and reinvented the 940 in a plethora of different ways, the auto variant, the mini variant. They have showed this knife the legacy it genuinely deserves. It's been kept similar, though not identical, the same, yet different. And as such, unlike most classic knives out there, has maintained its relevancy throughout the better part of two decades which in of itself is incredible. Because while the 940 is no longer an innovation, it's no longer a revolution, it's still a very, very good knife. Now, with all that being said, as far as just a three-day first impressions, though mind you, I've used the 940 for the better part of 20 years, I'm pretty sure how it's gonna age. But just as far as this first impressions of the Blade HQ exclusive Sprint Run and M4 and JG10, honestly, this knife to me is pretty much perfect. And the pretty muches are the definition of nitpicks, mostly cosmetic issues, hint, hint, parkerization. And honestly, I can't really fault the knife for that. So my score as far as a personalized basis for the Blade HQ M4 Benchmade 940 Osborne is going to be a 10 out of 10. I adore this knife. I wasn't sure if I'd keep it around. I'm definitely keeping it around. I love this knife. My generalized EDC score for this knife is going to be a 9.7 out of 10. The reason why it drops down is because this knife does not fit perfectly for everyone. There are little things here and there that other knives simply do better. I just happen to be very biased because I love the 940. As always, folks, I love you all with all of my heart. I appreciate you all with all of my heart. Have a fantastic day, morning, noon, or night, whatever you are doing. Have a great one. I love you all. Be safe out there. Things are nuts. You know that. I ain't got to say any more. Just be safe. As always, I love you all, and bye bye <laughs>